Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy, and I'm here to read you another story. And I have another story about fall and pumpkins. I told you, Miss Dorothy loves fall, and I love when we start collecting pumpkins. I love using pumpkins for pumpkin pie, using pumpkins to decorate, using pumpkins to make jack-o'-lantern. But tonight, we've got a book called Pumpkin Trouble. How can pumpkins cause trouble? Pumpkin trouble. And who's inside that pumpkin? I don't know what's going on in this book, but we need to find out because I don't think there should be any pumpkin trouble. Are you ready to get inside this pumpkin book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Pumpkin Trouble, written by Jan Thomas. Oh, this will be great says the duck, who finds a really, really big, round, orange pumpkin. I can't wait to show Pig and Mouse my jack-o'-lantern. They'll be so surprised. Just one last seed. The duck found this great orange pumpkin, and he's making a jack-o'-lantern. He cut the top off, and he's scooping out all the seeds. Whoops! Uh-oh. This isn't good. Oh no, he got stuck upside down inside the pumpkin. Um, can anyone help me? cries the duck from inside the pumpkin. Pig, mouse, are you there? He's going to look for his friends to see if they can help him get out of the pumpkin. Hello? Ah! It's a pumpkin monster! Holler pig and mouse. They don't know that it's duck. A pumpkin monster! Hollers duck. Where? He doesn't know that pig and mouse are talking about him. Oh no, it's chasing us! Say pig and mouse as they're running away from duck inside the pumpkin because they think he's a pumpkin monster. It's chasing us? Help! <laughs> now Duck is running after Pig and Mouse because he doesn't know that they're running from him. Quickly, hide behind the barn, says Mouse. And Pig and Mouse go run to hide behind the barn. What barn? says Duck, who can't see anything. <clears throat> Smash! Oh no! Duck fell right into the barn and broke the pumpkin. It smashed everywhere. Duck, says Pig, who doesn't know how Duck got there. Look! Duck battled the pumpkin monster and won! I did, says Duck. They think there was a pumpkin monster and Duck smashed him up. They don't know that it was Duck inside the pumpkin. Hooray for Duck! I'll make a jack-o'-lantern to celebrate, says Duck. Everybody's so excited, but they don't know what really happened. Wow, I wish Duck were here to see this great jack-o'-lantern, says Pig. Where is Duck, says Mouse. Um, can I get a little help? says Duck, who is stuck inside the pumpkin again. Oh, that poor crazy duck, he did it again. He fell in the pumpkin again. But this time, at least he was able to make it a really nice jack-o'-lantern for mouse and pig to see. My goodness, did you see that? He was digging out all the seeds and he fell right in and it got stuck on his head and mouse and pig thought he was a pumpkin monster and he was running around and then he crashed into the wall. This was a crazy pumpkin book. It was pumpkin trouble. I didn't think it could be, but it was was. But the trouble's all solved now. There's a jack-o'-lantern and mouse and pig are pretty excited about it. I hope they figure out the ducks in there and help them get out. I mean, have you ever seen a quacking pumpkin? I guess if they hear it quack, they're going to know the ducks in there. And I'm sure they'll help them out because they seem like really good friends. But now it's time for my good friends to roll into bed just like big old pumpkins. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a real Really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, if you're out pumpkin picking, make sure your pumpkins don't quack. 
And if they do, help a duck out. But if you are out pumpkin picking and mom and dad are there with you, whatever you do, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.